everyone and welcome back to part seven and I just want to thank you for joining me in this chronicle on uh, making a ethnic silicone doll we have a lot to do in this episode we are going to do some highlights and details we're going to do eyebrows and we're also going to tackle the nails I decided to give the silk pig another try. Um, I do want to know what you guys think about it. I think that the color is not as true as acrylic colors are. Specifically, the yellow doesn't seem quite as yellow. And yeah, I could put more in there, but I just find that like an acrylic paint when I'm doing vinyl dolls. I will find a much truer color. Um, same, I felt like that with the red. The red turned magenta. So let me know what you guys think. We're gonna check out Felicity's head, specifically uh, her lips. What I did was I added silicone into her mouth. I just kind of poured silicone that I kind of made up into her mouth and it looks a lot better, it's so much more smoother. And then I set her up so that the silicone wouldn't drip out or just end up at the roof of her mouth. So that hole did work, that hole that I dug in her neck that I didn't think would work for anything. <laughs> it worked for that. Okay, so I'm using these little dabbers, these little tiny ones that I didn't know if I would ever have an opportunity to use it. And I'm going to add yellow highlights to places where I feel um, ethnic babies need it, like uh, in the middle of the forehead, between the eyes, across the bridge of the nose, in the chin, and along the cheeks. Also, I like putting it on the ears. I have been a little concerned with how red this kit has turned out and that's because it was a very pink silicone and then when I added my pink uh, undertone, it just really brought that out. So I think the yellow helps to counteract a lot of that, um, that extra pink. Also, um, I'm, I'm using a very light touch because yellow, even though you might not think you can see it very well, once it cures, it seems like, especially on a silicone doll, it stands out a lot. So I went very, very translucent. Trying to squeeze and 
So on the hands and feet, I like to do between the knuckles. I also like to do the raised part of like the creases, you know, when the creases are the low parts and then right next to the crease is the high points. So I like to hit that. Also I believe that um, with brown skin, or at least with my brown skin, I have more of a yellow tone to my brown skin, so I'm just going to dab little pieces where I would have yellow like especially on the inside of the wrist And when I look at the bottom of her feet, I feel like it could just use a little more life. So I'm just adding, um, like it feels gray because of the blue that we put in there. And then this is just going to brighten it up a little. I also added the same flesh tone to the bottom of each hand and foot. Now back with Felicity, I'm gonna add brown to define the uh, crease in her eyelid. Tell me what you see in me. Gotta be something different. You must be made for me. I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you. Fighting on my mind, fighting on my life. You, I'm trusting. 
I wanted to mute down a little bit of the vibrancy of her skin tone so I'm adding a little bit of flesh flesh color uh, over the bridge of her nose and just over the parts of her cheek this I definitely could not do if this was a vinyl kit I mean it just for air dry paints it really just don't work like this but Man, does it blend into a dry, well, see, that's why, because a silicone doll isn't actually dry, you know, they they have that plastic sheen over it. So now I'm like going crazy with the highlights because they'll blend right in. Maybe I've even covered up some of that yellow, but it just looks more lifelike to me. If I catch you knocking off, then it's gonna be some shit. Well, you can do what you wanna live how you wanna spend what you wanna be who you wanna be. We have stunner to la dia. Knowing when to stop is one of the hardest things that an artist has to do. It's time to stop. So we're done with uh, those highlights. But now, oh, this part is so difficult for me. Eyebrows. Right. 
think we're done with these eyebrows. Um, she's a preemie. She doesn't need thick, dark eyebrows. Uh, I think this is good enough. What do you think? Leave a comment if you like the eyebrows. You'll see that we have limbs in the oven and that is so that we can heat up the silicone in order to fast cure the paint on the nails. The nails are so small that they would just, the paint would just run off if I didn't do that. I put the oven on 200 degrees and I just warmed this baby up enough to be super hot and hard to handle. So that was about 15 minutes. This nail tipping color is white and buff oxide. Typically I wouldn't use just all white, but for some reason silicone uh, really absorbs the color. So it would not have stood out if I hadn't put white in along with the buff oxide. And we went back to Sam. So Sam's white and Sam's buff oxide. I think that this is it for episode 7. We did a lot. Uh, in the next episode, we are going to blush the palms and the bottom of the feet. We're going to blush some cheeks and I think we can do some matting. So that should be very interesting. See you back.